Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this foundation and this is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation for normal to oily skin, which is good because I have oily skin. I got this because I've heard people speak about it a lot on YouTube. I've never tried any of Maybelline's foundations before, so I don't really know what to expect. And this is in the shade 330 Toffee Caramel. I did buy it online, so I'm just going to hope it matches. I mean, it looks pretty good. It does look like the wrong undertone. Anyway, if you want to see my first impressions on this foundation, then keep watching. So I have my brows done, and I don't know how I feel about my brows because I use something different. They look a bit darker than they usually are, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't also like I have sharpie brows, so that's why I'm a bit skeptical about my brows today. If I look different, it's because I have my hair out. I'm trying to air dry it. I usually air dry my hair because I'm kind of scared of blow dryers, guys. Like, when I was a lot younger, those Nigerian women, those Nigerian saloon women, they would keep the hair dryer on your head, like on your scalp. So it used to always burn me. And since then, I just decided I would never, ever, ever let anyone blow dry my hair. Now that I'm an adult and I can say no. On the right side of my face, I'm going to use a sponge. This is from Nashi Cosmetics. And on the left side of my face, I'm going to use a brush. I got this off eBay. It's a random brush. It doesn't matter what brush I use, to be honest, as long as it's a brush. Just to see how the foundation applies with a brush and a beauty blender or a sponge, makeup sponge. So I've already moisturized my face. The next I always do is prime my face. So I'm using this primer from number seven, and this is the Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing Primer. After that, I'm going with the NARS Makeup Primer on the rest of my face. But then I'm going to try a different orange corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. I got this for £4 from a random beauty store. Which sounds like a lot of money, like £4 for this thing. I think I'm growing a beard. Uh, Evo traits are finally catching up with me. What is this? Okay, maybe it's in my head. Maybe it's in my head. Let me not talk too much about it. Before it really happens. I'm trying not to put too much. I say this after already putting too much. Okay, I put way too much. I need to fix this. <laughs> wow, that is so pigmented. Like next time I'm going to put the tiniest amount. Okay, I hope this works. My face is my face is red. What is this? My first, first, first impressions of this is I don't like packaging because what is this? Where where's my pump? I hate having to pour out foundation because I end up wasting it. So I'm just going to pour a bit out on my hand and it's really runny. If ooh, ooh, mm, that's a lot. If you don't like runny foundations, then don't bother with this one. I'm going to just take a brush and put it all over my face. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a sponge. I feel like I need a second layer on my face because this part does seem a bit red. On this side, I'm going to blend it out with a brush. It's a lot more full coverage than with a sponge. I'm just going to go in with a second layer on my cheek and my jawline to cover up my spots a bit more. I think this is medium coverage. It looks really good on the skin. I wouldn't say it looks skin-like because it doesn't. I can see that there's foundation on my face and I feel like if I set it on someone else, I would know over the foundation on your face. It looks a bit red on camera, but you know what? I'm going to blame that on my color corrector, actually. It looks so red compared to my neck. Hmm, maybe this isn't a good match, actually. It's first impressions. I like it. I have given it a while to dry down, and I see it trying to mattify. <laughs> But it's not completely matte. Like, it doesn't look dewy or anything like that, but it isn't completely matte, which isn't a problem for me because I always end up setting my foundation with some powder anyway. It's not as mattifying as the Urban Decay one, and it's not sticky on the face. Ooh, I like how it feels. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel heavy as well. It just feels like skin. I've noticed it started settling into my smile lines, which I have like really bad smile lines because I smile like everything. I smile when I talk. I laugh at every single thing, whether it's funny or not. So I have laugh lines. And this foundation is starting to settle, which I hate actually. So that's the only bad thing about this. I think it would settle into your fine lines so quickly. I mean, it's not so bad under my eyes, but then my smile is getting renewed. And this is just after like, what, two minutes? So imagine if I would do it, probably wear really badly around my mouth area. But that's my only problem with it currently. 
I'm actually so impressed with my makeup today, especially because I had so many makeup fails in just one day. I'm just going to set my face now with this dewy finish. Hmm, that kind of defeats the purpose, you know. I'm going to do it. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to spray some primer water on my face because that's what I usually do. I was going to use the NYX dewy finish setting spray, but then I don't know if that's going to change the way that the foundation wears on my skin. So I decided to go for this one because I usually use this one. I don't want anything that's going to make my foundation feel a lot more dewy than it's supposed to be. Just going to spray this all over. And I always do this because I like the way my foundation settles and like everything, the powders, everything. And that is actually it for my first impressions foundation review ignore my red face it's going to dry very soon <laughs> i don't know if my makeup is looking extra cute today because of my foundation but i just like how it looks i like how it feels on the skin as well it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel like i have layers and layers of foundation on and i did use two layers well on this side of my face not both sides but on this side i feel like it applies better with a brush but then overall you can't see the difference it's just easier to use a brush and also it applies a lot more full coverage with a brush i think it's a medium coverage foundation i don't think you can build it up to full coverage well i would try that eventually on a different day probably but it's really good like it's really nice for what it is worth i mean drugstore or boots super drug kind of level foundation i ended up buying this for 10 pounds or 11 pounds because i bought it off amazon and everything is a lot more expensive on amazon i couldn't find my shades at boots as usual so i did get this off amazon i put the link down below if you want to get this if you're my shade if you're close to my skin tone or something but i think for 10 pounds it wears really nicely it is this is gorgeous like i mean i am gorgeous but my foundation on me <laughs> i'm just joking this is amazing like, let me zoom you in i don't think you understand what i'm talking about here can you see how my skin just looks so flawless ignore my spots if you can see them but like it just looks so amazing and everything else just blends well on my skin and i don't know if that's because of the foundation or what but my skin just looks so put together my makeup looks so well done it looks gorgeous like i keep saying gorgeous but that's the truth like i mean that's the truth i'm going to go out in a minute it is 3 p.m this foundation doesn't promise like 12 hour wear or anything so i'm going to just see how long it wears for and i would probably come back i might try to do random check-ins but i'm a bit weird like I don't want to look weird to other people so I wouldn't do that. But anyway, it's 3 o'clock and I'm just going to go out really quickly, pick up a few things, take my picture and then see how this foundation wears. I need to put my wig on because I'm looking like a hot mess. I'm so happy like this foundation is this amazing because as opposed to using a 30 pound foundation every single day, I feel more comfortable. <laughs> using my 10 pound foundation so i mean if this is how it wears then i'd be happy to use this every single day which is why i bought it to start with so anyway this is oh i keep looking at myself because i cannot believe how amazing this foundation is i'm going to put my wig on and then come back and do a quick outro bye so that is it with my foundation review i'm still completely loving how it looks on my face so i definitely definitely at this point in time I'm in love with the matte and poreless foundation from Maybelline. It's gorgeous. It looks amazing on the skin. It just looks really nice. And let me know down below what you think about this foundation. Do you think it applied well on my skin? Have you used this? Have you been using it for a while? What do you think about the overall wear of the foundation? I'm completely in love with this foundation. I would definitely recommend it at this point in time unless I react to it badly or something of that nature so i've had my makeup on for about four hours and i can see myself looking a bit oily around my t-zone area and that's normal like my nose is always oily but apart from that the rest of my face is looking so intact like nothing has moved <laughs> what i just do yes thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like share subscribe comment yeah that's all <laughs> I was like, there's something else. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.